Hi, it's Seth with APS EdTech. If you've updated your new Promethean board recently and gotten to Operating System 2.1, then you've probably seen the new Explain Everything app. Let's go take a look at some of the basic features in Explain Everything. If you've updated your Promethean board to 2.1, you should have the new Explain Everything app. Let's go ahead and get started with Explain Everything. If you touch the flame menu down at the bottom of your board, applications, and explain everything is right here. We're going to go ahead and touch explain everything. I'm going to hit the home button over here. So we could start in a blank canvas. We could start in a template and we could start with some files. I'm going to start in a blank canvas today and just show you around a little bit. The three dots will let us open a new whiteboard. Open an old whiteboard, edit the background, save the one we have, export the one we have. There are some settings we can talk about and there's the help center. Let's talk about editing the background so you can see what that looks like real fast. There's some different colors back here you can change the background on, or there's different patterns. If we touch pattern, we can choose down here, we can add some lines. There we go. Um, grid, dots, there's all kinds of stuff we can add through here. You kind of sort through, there's different kinds of lines. If you need like the lines with the houses on it because you teach like kindergarten elementary, those are there too. You can hit done and they get added right to our whiteboard. The next one down kind of looks like the, uh, the image icon for Google. If we touch that, this is how we add different things to our whiteboard. We can add photos, videos, or files. We can add a sticky note, kind of like in uh, Jamboard. So it has a little sticky note. We we can say hello. So there's our sticky note. We can move that around. If we touch something, we can edit it. We edit the words there. We can come down here to the bottom, change the background color. We can change the font type, font size, where the words are aligned, the three little dots here. If we want to change any of the font options. In the ad over here, there's also things like clip arts. You can scroll through some of these. You can swipe sideways down here. There are things like uh, landscape pictures, different planets, parts of, the, of our world. You can just click touch any of those to get added straight to your whiteboard. Coming down on this side, we do have some annotation tools. There is a marker here. If we touch the marker, we can get a pencil or a marker. The dot above that, we can change how fat it writes. Down here, we can choose the type, like the colors. We can choose black, red, blue. Touch them twice to get more options. Now, you'll see here when you open these up, it says border or fill. What that means, I can choose what the border is going to be. Like, I have blue picked. I can choose a fill. Maybe I want a red, red fill. And it shows over there, blue pen with a red fill. What that means is if I come over here and I draw like a circle and then I come over to this button here, it's a draw fill, it's going to complete that drawing and fill it in for me. Boom, there it is. So there's that. So you can make shapes based on what you drew already. The next thing down we have a highlighter and then there's a mar uh, some math tools. Math tools are the same as always. We can move these around. If we want to use them to draw, open our pen tool snap right to the edge of the, the ruler. There's a line. You should be able to rotate it. There we go. You can use this to draw angles if you need to. Let's close that. Continuing on down, there is an eraser. My favorite as always is just to use my palm and erase with my palm. There is a fill tool. We can fill, should be able to fill the background. It does ask if you want to open the background editor and play around in there. Let's skip that for now. Next one down, there's some shape tools. At the top, if you touch the shape tool, the little square, you'll see other shapes you can draw. So if you want to draw like a star, we can get that. Pick over here how you want the border and fill to work. So I have red fill, blue border still. I can choose yellow fill, or sorry, yellow border, red fill, and draw my star. There's that. Next one down. You've all been asking for this in a whiteboarding tool. We do have a text tool on this one. Choose your text tool, tap anywhere, and then you can text.
touch anywhere else to get rid of it. So there's your text box. It can be moved around. And those are most of the basic tools for Explain Everything. Go ahead and watch the next video to get some more advanced tools. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notifications when we have new videos. And tell us in the comments how you're going to use Explain Everything in your classroom.